How you going guys? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. This is my X-Max, definitely my favorite RC. But if you're like me, you often get a little bit too trigger happy and sometimes you can't uh, keep this front of this puppy down on the ground where it should. Obviously the end result is it does a wheel stand and it goes a bit too far and it flips over on its hood and it scratches the living hell out of this puppy and you damage your shell. Not like I really give a crap, but uh, anyway, it still would be nice if you can prevent it most of the time. So, I was looking on eBay, looking on the internet, and I found this puppy. Some fully ball bearinged wheelie bar for the X-Max. As you can see, it includes all the hardware needed to install. This is pretty much what you get when you get it out of your bubble wrapped goodness all the way from China, but it definitely looks fine. Super thick, uh, it's about, I don't know, 13 millimeters thick there. Uh, plastic, ball bearing wheels. They're like a uh, skateboard style rubber or plastic, whatever it's called. But anyway, this will go on the back of this puppy. So anyway, easy, easy to install. So let's have a look and uh, Get on the back this So before I install this bad boy onto the X-Max, I'll just give you a bit of a close look. Is uh, it's, it's kind of like a skateboard wheel material. It's got ball bearings on, obviously, both of the wheels. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's got the X, you know, kind of engraved in there, or 3D printed, I'm not too sure. I think it might be, uh, with the X there, it's pretty cool. Um, What's the diameter of these wheels? See there, it's about about 47, get the camera, 47 millimeters wide. All for you guys across the pond, 1.8 inches or so. And roughly about 25, 25 mil wide or just under an inch in uh, wheel width. This plastic here at the thickest point is around about 15 millimeters, or just over half an inch there. Yeah, pretty cool. Just for, thought you guys want to keep camera focus, there we go. Just what you'd like to have a nice close look before uh, I install it. And like you see, this goes onto the bottom there of the rear skid plate I think and this just nestles kind of locks under the rear or the bottom of the rear bumper bar. Pretty simple. Okay first step as you can see here here's the existing screws that hold the bottom half of the rear bumper to the X-Max and here's a new one it obviously includes two new screws for you as well with the right diameter like the existing one, which is very easy to install and makes installation even easier. So first things first, nothing scientific about this or too hard, anyone can really do this. Just get your favourite tool of choice and just undo these puppies. Okay, that's the first part done. Now, as you can see, it has a lip here, or it's actually a bit thicker. So the screws that come with the actual kit are longer than the stock ones too. Obviously, adapt for that depth of the actual plastic. So you leave these ones in there, chuck your existing ones into your spare parts drawer, and there we go, we just got to use these. So, next step. Okay guys, you might have noticed that on the actual wheelie bar, it's got this drop down piece, and you might be thinking, what's that for? Well, it actually fits perfectly into here, like a little jigsaw puzzle. So this is so easy. Put it on there, as you can see, it fits in nicely. And you kind of just pressure fit the rest of this little notch up underneath the back of the bumper and that's it it's in it's installed
Now I don't think there is a easier way or more sorry a more easy system to install honestly if I wasn't talking on the camera you could have this done in less than five minutes no doubt about it so the screws that it comes with are very good exactly the same as the original just about 10 to 12 millimeters longer to compensate for the the distance the thickness of the plastic and that's it guys done very very cool so as you can see this part kind of just locks into place with just friction and the force of the these two pushing up against the the bottom of this uh, original bumper so as you can see it doesn't come out it is very strong and most of the force anyway is going to be point is pushing up towards this direction not coming down but regardless it's not moving anywhere and for the price of this can't beat it it looks great i um, am very happy with the actual finish and uh how it actually looks i think it does look pretty cool so i'll put the body on and i'll show you how the main thing looks and in another video i'll actually show you and see if it works so there she is all locked and loaded ready to uh, give it a test now as you can see it looks quite compact and uh, compared to some of the other ones it's not as bulky that's for sure i'll put it on its side you can see it doesn't really stick out that much from the rear there and it you know looks pretty decent not too bad so there we go quick video extremely easy installation i will leave the link for this puppy down below like always any questions holler at me in the uh, comment section uh, please look, obviously if you haven't subscribed please do i will be posting a video of the action of this puppy and seeing how it performs not too distant future so thanks guys steve here again have a good one catch you around